All right, well, let's turn our Bibles to the book of Proverbs tonight. We're in the book of Proverbs, again, still in chapter uh, 14. We just uh, stick in there at 14 for a little bit. There's a lot, uh, there's a lot in chapter 14. And so um, it's, it's really this, this portion that begins, and I say it begins, it really kind of began maybe in chapter 11, um, 10 and 11. It begins this, this, this uh, comparison between the wise and the foolish, wisdom and folly. And so we kind of find this back and forth. Well, in chapter 14, in verse 14, the Bible says, The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. Does everybody have a, does anybody need a, a handout? Everybody got one? Anybody need one? Put your hand up if you need one. Everybody got a pen? Just pens there in the pew. All right, good. So number one is, is, is uh, the backslider we're talking about here. He deals with, so hey, the, word, the word here is used as a noun. It's used as a noun in this place. Uh, that's our first blank. The word here is used, it's used as a noun here in, in the book of Proverbs. Typically, under that number one, Typically, this word is used as a verb, and often when, when we find this word, um, and, and actually, this is actually the only place that it's used as a noun in the Bible. So the rest of the places, it's, it's a verb, and it's really, um, uh, it's used as a verb speaking of the action, that's the blank there, the action of turning back. Okay, that's what this backslider, what, the, what a backslider does is the action of, of turning back. Uh, number two, but, but here it's used of a person that, that not only took an act um, of turning back, like a thing, but is identified as one that has turned back. So it becomes something that, um, not one that only just one time did it, but somebody that actually, that's what they've done. As, as a person, they, their character is now defined as somebody that has, has turned back. All right, we understand this is, the, this is the, the action that's going to be. The backslider is one who has given up ground, given up ground once taken for God. So this isn't somebody that's not saved. This is, this is somebody that's at least at, at one time, um, number one, under that, they had been a follower of the Lord, okay? They had been, that's, that's number one under B there. They had been a follower of the Lord. They were following the Lord and they turned back from that and they gave up ground. And so when we talk about giving up ground, it means in the sense that I've been living for the Lord and, and there's some, some things that I've done, living for Jesus, some behaviors I've taken maybe, maybe some, some different things going on in my life and some direction and how I'm living and the purpose for my life and the, and the understanding and, and I've made some, took some ground in, in this thing of life. But at some point, the backslider, what they've done is they've given up that ground, they turned back, okay? Um, a, it's talking, they had been a follower, they were obeying his word um, and, and they were they, putting off the old man and putting on the new you see, this is the, the ground that they were making. They, they, they put off, they, 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 they put sin away, right? Putting on the old man. Hey, I'm saying putting off the old man, not put him on. Put him off. And, and they're putting off the old man and putting on the new, right? We understand what that means? It means uh, my life has changed. When I get saved, my life has changed. The things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. There's been a great change since I've been born again, Right? Um, and so now I do new things. Like what? Well, tonight we're here. Now I pray. <laughs> now I talk about the Lord. Now I come to church. And, you know, we come to church. Uh, hopefully the, 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 the reason you come, but the purpose we come is we want to know about Him. Right? And so there's some things they... Um, but number two, they had turned from sin to righteousness. See, this is the one. They turned from sin, put off the old man... And this, they turn from sin to righteousness, the things I would do to, to live to please myself and live to live against God. I turn, from, I, I, I quit that. I repented of my sin and lived in righteousness, right? 
But number three, but they have now turned back to where they once were. Um, they, they gave up ground. See, they were, they were there, and um, they turned back. Um, the backslider is a, uh, it's a tragic story, actually. Um, can, can I tell you this? Um, I, I, don't, I think if we would look at this in the Bible, it's actually not in the Bible a lot. The idea, the concept, the, 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 the word, the verbiage of backsliding and turning back, it's not in there a lot. You know what that tells us? This isn't a normal thing. This isn't the normal way of the believer. Well, I, just, I was just backsliding for a little while. No, no, no. This isn't a, a normal thing. This is, a, this is a somebody that has, uh, thinking about a, a, a military um, uh, advancement, and we took some ground, and now, we, now we, we're, we're safer. The people behind us are safer. Right, and now we have this ground, and then as we got here, we we go a little further, and so and further, and so now we're making these advances, and so now, you know, when we make it militarily speaking, we make some advances, and so what's behind us is now safe, and so think about this in our Christian life, we've made some advances. I'm living for the Lord, things in my life that were that were destructive, and now I've put those things off, and but then at some point, imagine the military just said, you know what, um. You know, out here, we're eating, you know, MREs, <laughs> right? We're eating this dried foods out here, <laughs> put a little water in it. I mean, it's not good. You know what they got back there? They got McDonald's cheeseburgers. <laughs> and so McDonald's cheeseburgers make people back, go back into sin. No, no. But, they, so they, so, but this is kind of what the situation is. We, we, we got there and then they, they went back. They went back and uh, A, they gave up the ground. And B, the life that had been lived in the spirit was now back in the flesh. It was a life of living in the Spirit, following the Lord, being directed by God, being, being moved by the Spirit of God, and being, being, not only that, but see, everything that we do, hold on, I want to put, I want to put it right. I'm thinking, my mind is like, it's all coming to my mind, but it's like out of order. So, every decision that we make isn't the Holy Spirit moving us. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. A lot of it is what we already know God has showed us. But sometimes when we're, when we're apt to walk away, the Spirit of God then reminds us of this and draws us. Okay, So, so this, all of these things that we're, we're living because we know the right way, we know the right path, we're wanting to be in that thing, and then there becomes this thing, I'm living this, and we're skipping down the lane of pleasing Jesus. And then we say, you know what, but, man, things used to be, things used to be fun back there. I, I had this deal when I first got saved, and maybe for a little while, for a period of time, I would sit there and just in my head, I mean, I'm just sitting there and in my head, all of a sudden, I'm going back to living in wickedness and sin. In my mind, and, and I'm thinking about, man, how much fun it was. I don't know if y'all ever did that. I was sitting there thinking how much fun it was, and I'm thinking, man, that was, that was a good time. And then I just, I would like come to, and then the, I'd say I'd come to, the Spirit of God would, and I would say this, I said, God, and I said, God, help me to think through this situation. So when I'm thinking about having fun, then, I've, then uh, that, 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 that life I was living, help me to finish through that process of going home sick, upset, lonely, wishing I didn't do that, not knowing what happened the night before. I, say, I would tell God, I say, help me to remember the whole story, not just the, uh, the, the bad part about the good old days is a bad memory. We just want to remember, oh man, we had a great time. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Remember the rest of it. I, there was this, this Christian group had made this video. It was a beer, they made a beer commercial. Christian group made a beer commercial. And it started like the regular beer commercial goes, and like everybody's having a good time, and then all of a sudden there's people over here sick and vomiting, and you know, it was just kind of a, like, let's show the rest of the story, you know, but not, not what they, I don't think they show them on TV anymore, I don't know. 
But they used to do all this like, oh, this is all a party. Listen, um, but the one that was living in this, they went back and said, I want to go back to that other thing. I want to go back to this. This, this is the backslider. It's the backslider we're talking about here. So here's the question. How, how was one walking down and living in the joy of the Lord? How were they living in that? Loving Jesus, loving the fellowship of God's people, right? Loving, praising the Lord and loving all of the things and, and rejoicing in their salvation. How did they go from that to back to the old man? Well, that, that's, that's the question, isn't it? Um, how did it happen? Number two, it begins in the heart. Begins in the heart. Look at, look at again in verse 14. It says, the backslider in heart. See there? Did y'all miss a word? You, know, you got it all there? B, the, the life that had been lived in the spirit, in the spirit, it was now back in the flesh. So the back, if y'all, hey, listen, if y'all miss a word, it's okay. Just holler out, hey, I missed that one. We're okay. I want you to have that, take that home, because I know you're going to take this home and study it for years to come. Anyway, I'm not kidding. Okay, so it begins in the heart. So the backslider may appear, that's the word appear, the backslider may appear as they always had for, uh, for a period of time. Uh, they, they seem, everything seems fine, everything seems normal. You look at them, they're exactly like they've always been. Number, number one, they, they, they may profess truth that they once accepted. You, you're going to see them and they're going to look like nothing's wrong. It's gonna, they're going to be exactly the same person they've always been. They've, a, a, they, they lived it, they've, they've believed it, they've even promoted it to others, they've invited people to church. Hey, listen, can I say this? I've seen... Some people that just because people invite people to church and tell other people about Jesus doesn't mean they're right with God. I've seen many people, uh, actually, I was just talking to somebody this past week and they said, you know, this person, they, they would do all the right things and inviting people and doing this, and yet they were never there in, 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 in spirit. They were there because they had to be. And it was just such a, and I've seen this many times. But here's what the backslider in heart, what they find is they're, they're doing that. Number two, but now have begun to permit the things of this world to draw him back. So here's what happens. You're, 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 you're living, in, that, you're living in, 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 in the ways of God. You're, you're pleasing God and you're, you're in that place. Um, but you began to permit those, those thoughts of, man, it used to be fun. It used to be this. And man, I'd like to, you know... Here's some people do stuff like this. You know, it's just, it's boring. All right, we'll get, get to that in a minute. Um, a, back from the life in the spirit to a life in the, in the flesh. Yeah, back to the old man is what that is. Back to it. Um, that's the idea. That's what this backslider means. It wants, the one that has turned back to where they once were. B, it begins in the heart, but will soon be manifested in their speech and actions. So it's, it's going on in here. Uh, it's going on in the heart, and it's not come out, and they look fine. We, 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 I would say, when I'm saying they, I'm going to say we as well. You know, we'll, we'll look fine. Everything's good. We're putting on the thing. But then number one is this. He does not suddenly, he does not sud or she, does not suddenly turn from virtue to vice, okay? It's not like one day everything's great and everything, it looks like, it can look like that, doesn't it? They're, everything's great and then one day they're doing this and then the next day they're, they're deep up to, their, up, up to their knees in sin. You're like, wow, that's not, listen, number two, instead there is a slipping that begins where? In the heart. Begins in the heart. Appearance, A, under that, Appearances are kept unchanged for a time, but he has already, that's the blank there, he has already backslidden in his heart. Listen, can I tell you this, folks? By the time somebody 
acts out or speaks out backslidden behavior, it's already been, it's already been living in the heart for a while, right? It's been, it's been there. Um, listen, number three, now that, vain, now that vain thoughts are permitted, okay, now that these vain thoughts are permitted, here's what happens. A, there is no longer a hunger for righteousness, See, see, the vain thoughts are now permitted in there. The, the emptiness, the... By, by the way, vain doesn't always mean sinful. Sometimes vain just means empty. My, uh, thoughts of, of me wasting my life, doing the things I want to do, and, and so I'm, I'm living this life, and, and my vain thoughts are now permitted. So now there's no longer a hunger for righteousness, where before it was, I want to be, on, on, I want to be where God wants me to be. A hunger for that. So in the heart, what's going on, there stops being a hunger for that. Well, I don't, I don't really care. I've heard, I've heard people in church, I've heard people have been in church, I don't really care. I've heard people say that. Not, it's, it's way down the road. It's not at first because it's all going on in the heart. And so, um, man seeth on the outward appearance. The Lord's one looks on the heart. So we, by the way, so don't look around at people. I think they might be getting ready to backslide. No, no, that's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Well, it doesn't work like that. Because here's the fact. We don't see the heart. My, 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 the, the, the idea tonight isn't for, we need to start figuring out people's heart. No, that's not, that's not it. What we, you know whose heart we need to be figuring out? This one right here. When something's going on in here. Because, listen, this, we're not trying to help others to, to not backslide. I mean, that'd be all right. But who we're really trying to, be aware of. Solomon was giving this to his son about him. Watch out for this thing in your life. And so, A, there is no longer a hunger for righteousness. B, uh, he grows weary of church and the congregation. Um, and C, if he does attend, it is only in body, enduring to keep up appearances. You see, um, because here's, here's kind of what happens. Uh, watch this scenario unfold with people. It's this thing. Um, I, I've lost interest. Um, I don't really want to be there. But if I don't go there, somebody's going to be like, hey, where were you at? And then I don't want to have to tell them. I don't want to have to tell this sweet lady, or I don't want to have to tell my mom, or I don't want to have to tell these people that, that are my friends. I don't want to have to tell them, yeah, I'm not interested in that stuff. Because once that happens, now I'm exposed, right? And now there's a decision made. Because here's what happens with the, back, the backslidden in heart. They're not sure how long they're going to stay there. A lot of people think, I'm just going to go do this for a, a little bit. I'm, I'm probably going to get back interested again. Um, that little bit ends up usually being a lot of bit, right? Uh, so see, then... Seemingly, at one moment in time, there becomes a sudden outward change. Man, all of a sudden, it's like, all of a sudden, this thing, boom, it comes out like an explosion. Number one, it is the result of the backslidden heart that was allowed to percolate. Just allowed to stay in there. It's working. It's working. It's, hey, hey, who, who has to deal with that heart? That's it. I can't deal with your heart. I don't, I don't know what's percolating in your heart. By the way, you don't know what's percolating in my heart. Now, we can see it sometimes on people's face. You know what I'm saying? When you get to know people, you're like, you ever, you ever, you ever did, said, said this to someone? Hey, are, are you okay? And they say, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And you're like, you ain't fine. What's going on? They're like, nah, I'm fine. You, you, can't, you can't dig it out of them. You, know, it's, you ever had this? Uh, somebody asks you, hey, how you doing? You're like, yeah, I'm fine. They're like, yeah, you, you don't seem okay. That should be some red flags come up in your life. My wife used to say, are you grumpy about something? I said, no, I'm not grumpy about anything. <laughs> I mean, used to. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that got the biggest laugh. That was the big. So, you know, sometimes she'd say that. I'm thinking, man, I think, man, I, I must be, I'm kind of feeling grumpy. And, why am I, and then I have to try, why am I grumpy? What's going You know, we've allowed something to percolate there. It just kind of work a little bit. Um, it, it, it is a heartbreak to some people when you see people do that. Right? You see that? What do you say? I'm preaching to myself. No, I said, what did she do to make you 
Oh, it, you know, usually it had nothing to do with her. It's all me. No, I can't blame her. Um, so, listen, to some, when you see somebody bust out with this, it's a heartbreak. It's a heartbreak to see people backslide. Man, they're just, they're going for Jesus, they're living for the Lord, and then they just turn back. I'm telling you, it is, it's, it's, I, I'm, I can tell you, for, there's, there's a couple kinds of people, it's, it's hard, really, it's a heartbreak for pastors, parents, friends, people that, you, in, in, people that you've invested in, and you see them turn back, man, it's, it's heartbreak. People that you love. To others, it's a surprise to many. Some people are just surprised. I can't believe that. Right? You ever done that? Well, I can't believe they, they I can't believe they backslid. You know, man, I never thought they would. <laughs> We've done this. And then and to others, it's shocking. Wow. You ever had somebody you're like, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's people like that. Yeah, I kind of. That doesn't surprise you. Then there's others. You're just like, you gobsmack. You know, you're just like, wow. You know what people like that can do? Can, can I just tell you this for a moment, folks? I want to just, I like to just clear off a little spot and talk about this for a minute. When, when it's you and I, and we do that, we hurt people. We hurt people bad. Especially when there's so many people looking at you and they're like, man, that's, that's that one. They, they love the Lord. They're living for the Lord. They're, and then they slide back into that old man. And folks are like, wow. You know what happens sometimes? Folks, people will do something like this. Wow, if that happened to them. What about me? And, and maybe then you know, you know what people do? It's kind of like kids. If, if you have rules for kids and then you break those rules, the kids wonder, are all the rules broke now? Can I do whatever I want now? I, I, used to, I used to have my kids, all of a sudden, my kids were usually pretty good. They knew, when I say good, they follow my instruction, not a lot of them. And then all of a sudden, they would just like lose their minds. And I'm like, what on earth? I'm telling you, this is a while back, you know, a year or so ago. No. And so, and I, they would lose their mind. And I had a preacher friend, he said, you know, here's what happened. It's like, it's like fencing, and you know, and, and when, when you have this, this perimeter and the kids know that's my boundary, that's my boundary, they feel safe in there. But then one day, they go and they cross where that fence is supposed to be and they get to do it and there's no correction. They're like, whoa. So now they're like, I got to go check all the rest of them. And all of a sudden they lose their mind. And I, when I realize, I'm like, wait a minute, you're saying that's my fault. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here's what happens when we, when we, it's not, listen, I'm not an island. What I do affects people. Um, so number two, the question then comes, what happened, right? We ask, why, right? What happened? You ever, you, you wanna, we want to say that. Why, have, why, why did you leave church? Why did you go back to sin? Why did you do this? Why did you do We want to ask the why, don't you? I, I, man, you know what I hate about why? Why isn't always easy. Why'd you do that? Well, I'll just... We, we, we want to know what caused, that's the blank there, we want to know what caused them to backslide. What caused it? Well, but we want to know, for, well, tell me, why did you do that? Tell me, you know, we want to, we, we get inquisitive. Why did you do that? What happened? That, you know, and then we, so here's what will happen sometimes. They'll, they'll, they'll even at times, they'll, 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 um, they'll, they'll attempt to pin the responsibility on the action of sliding back on someone, um, usually a pastor, or a, or a deacon, yeah, amen, it's usually the deacon, no, um, or, 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 a, <laughs> or a teacher, uh, maybe a parent, right? Somebody's going to get to, well, you know, because my parents raised me harsh. You've been out of the house for like 20 years, how is that, you know, I've heard it. I've heard, I, I had this lady come in counseling in my office and she came in and she said, yeah, you know, ever since my mom died, it's just been hard on me and, and it's just, I just can't, you know, and this, I said, okay. I said, when, you know, when did your, because uh, I didn't know her, she, you know, she'd come and visit, I said, well, come talk to me, she said, yeah, it was 12 years ago, I'm like, I mean, it's hard, but when is it like, but we, sometimes we just don't know, because, listen, B, but this backsliddenness has been happening in the heart for a long time, 
for a long time. And so to get, the, sometimes to get the what, just say even, sometimes people don't even know the what. Why did you do that? Why did you go back to sin? Why did you do that thing? I've had people, I've, I've, I've talked to people and they said stuff like this. I don't even know. And you know, I, as a parent, I tell my kids, why did you do that? And they're like, kids, don't, they're just sinners, you know? Um, <laughs> look here, I got this story. I, I found this story. It's, um, it, it was an interesting one. It, it said this, on the same branch of an apricot tree that leaned against the south side of a garden wall, there were seen two fruits, large and luscious, hanging side by side, and ripening apace in the sun. This is from the 1800s, so it's got a little bit of wording there. They were of equal size and equal loveliness. Their stainless fruit peeped from beneath the leaves to bask in the noonday heat. Nothing in nature could be more lovely to look upon or more rich in promise. Yet under the heat of the sun, one of them grows black on the side and bursts and collapses and becomes a mass of rottenness, while the other remains in undiminished beauty and fragrance by its side. Whence the diverse fates of these twin beauties? Especially, why did the catastrophe happen so suddenly? It happened thus. Yesterday, when you stood looking at the two, admiring their equal beauty, one of them was hollow in the heart. If you, had, uh, if you had taken it in your hand and turned it around, you would have seen corruption already pervading its mass. On the dark side next to the wall, it has been pierced and entered. Its inside has been scooped out and devoured, while it continued to present to the onlooker as fair an appearance as ever. But black, crawling, loathsome creatures are nestling and reveling in that hollow heart Beneath that elegant skin. I just, that just said it better than I could put it together. D, it was not a sudden fall. It was not a sudden fall. Again, it says there, the backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. The heart has been preparing, that's the blank, had been preparing this backsliding. Selfish. And sinful thoughts have been in the heart. Number two, he is now filled with his own ways. He's filled with his own ways. One that was once enamored with the joys of, of the Lord has turned back. Back to the um, B. Back to the sin that they were once rejoicing to be departed from. Man, they once were rejoicing. Man, I'm glad I'm not over in that place. I'm so thankful to God. Giving testament, thankful to God. I'm not still in the muck and the mire of sin. I used to be, praise the Lord. But now, they're back in the sin that they were once rejoicing to be departed from. He now wants and is filled with what was once despised. Was filled with his ways. You ever been, you ever been repulsed by your own sinful desires? Just, I can't believe I would, I was like that. Man, I can't believe that that temptation. Man, I don't. Man, I'm glad I'm not there. And then, and then to turn back one day. Number three, how to avoid being a backslider. <laughs> Here's the end of it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just about there. How to avoid being a backslider. Again, verse 14. The backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man shall be satisfied from himself. So, shall be satisfied. You see there in, in there in verse 14, the shall be satisfied is in italics. Right? Are, we, are we familiar with the italics in our King James Bible, what that means? The italics mean there is no actual word that's translated there. So when it's in italics throughout the whole King James Bible, if it's in italics, that means there wasn't a Greek or in this case a Hebrew word that was translated. It's, it's put in there to give content, give context, so, you can, so it doesn't just seem weird. But in this, in this place, it's actually a pretty obvious one. 
Um, shall be satisfied is the contrast of shall be filled. So he says this, the backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways, and a good man, we might say, shall be filled from himself. Okay, it's the same. And that word, that word to be filled means to be satisfied. Okay, it's what it's talking about there. So number one, a good man is one remaining in the joy of the Lord. He didn't backslide. He didn't go back. He's remaining in the joy of the Lord. Number two, he doesn't need to go back to find fulfillment. That's the good man. Um, the good man isn't a perfect person. It's not somebody that's awesome, gets everything right. That's not what it is. When we think about the, the wise versus the foolish in here, the wise is not a perfect person. It's one that's perfecting. One that says, I'm going to keep pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Um, a, he doesn't slide back to his ways. So, B, he is satisfied in what God has already done. Can, can I say this, folks? When... When we slide back, when we become a backslider, it's because we're not content, we're not fulfilled with what God's doing. And what we say is this, what God's doing isn't enough. It doesn't bring me the joy, it doesn't mean, bring me the contentment, it doesn't bring me the peace, it's not enough. So I'm going to go back to putting me in charge because that's where I'm going to find Fulfillment. Do you think the believer finds fulfillment back there? I mean, maybe sometimes, right? No. No, there's no fulfillment for the believer to go back to what they used to be. There's no fulfillment for the believer. It'd been better if you're never saved than to be saved and try to go back again. It's worse. Listen, number three, last one here. Satisfied doesn't mean it's good enough. Well, you know, kind of like my wife will say sometimes, you know, have you had enough? Not like, not, that, not, in that, not in that tone. It's like, more like, have you had enough? Like, you want some more? And I'm, like, I'm like, no, I'm, sat I'm, I'm satisfied. I've had enough. Okay? That's not what dissatisfied means here. Like, I've had enough, now I can eat more. Me, I could eat a portion and I'm satisfied, but I could eat seconds and still be all right. So satisfied here doesn't mean it's just enough. It means we have been filled up. Right? Our joy has been fulfilled. Listen, folks, and I want us to just see this and we finish out. Listen, the, the backslider in heart is filled with his own ways, filled constantly in his heart and his mind. He's thinking about it. She is thinking about it and putting it in their mind. It's living in it. And I don't want that. And going back and just not satisfied, not fulfilled with... Listen, is living for the Lord always a, a, a bed of roses? Absolutely not. You know, when you get saved, everything is perfect, Right? I remember my pastor said, come on, come on, brother, here, let's go, let's go visit these folks. I said, and I just newly saved, he said, tell them, tell them about what happened since you got, I said, since I got saved, everything's great, my wife likes me now, I'm nice, and everything, life's working perfect, everything's great. I thought that's what I was supposed to, I was new, and he said, well, no, 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 not exactly, he said, like, just, no, okay, quit. <laughs> but, I mean, that isn't it, but I was kind of, okay, is that what it's supposed to be? No, listen, um, it just means this, I mean, I'm just going to be, I know what God has, I don't need to wander back to something else because I'm telling you, it'll never fulfill us. When it gets in the heart and you start noticing your heart, purge that thing. Amen? Amen. Let's all stand together.